The next thing to do is to draft a battle plan. Now, your battle plan is going to be basically your method of preparing for your exam. It's your, it's your overall plan of, of how are you going to schedule your time, how are you going to uh, you know, schedule your life, how are you going to get involved with, continue your, your classes, uh, take care of your car, whatever, whatever, anything in your life that has to be taken care of, this is part of your battle plan. And the, the main focus of this battle plan is going to be your, your studying time. How, when you're going to study, where you're going to study, everything is going to be part of this, this massive battle plan that you can either write it down, keep it in your head, but most importantly, just understand what you're going to be doing during the time when you're supposed to be preparing for your, for your exams. Uh, approximately one month before you start taking your exam, will be the critical time. That's going to be time during which you will find that you will have much less free time than you've ever had before in your life. You're going to find that what's going to be happening is you're going to be going to class, you'll be studying for class, you'll be going to class, you'll be coming from class, studying for class again, and reviewing for your exam. Now that's an enormous task. It's, it's, it's something all, all of us went through when we were in law school. And it's something that you will learn how to do. But it's very important that you, you begin at the proper time, which is about a month. Some people start earlier. Some people start six weeks uh, or more before, they, they, before the exam. They start they get a, head, a, run, a running start. If you are diligent enough where you think you can retain all the information, six weeks is, is, is maybe the kind of thing you should do. But certainly by a month, a month before final exams, you should be going through the process of reviewing, of studying, of, of, of starting to, to retain all the information that you've uh, learned during the semester. Practice exams. This is the time when you're going to uh, be able to start looking at practice exams. And in, 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 in most cases, you will be able to find practice exams for your professor, from your prof professor uh, at, your, your local, uh, at, your, at your law school library. Uh, the library may have many of them on file. Sometimes they're, they're recent, sometimes they're old, uh, but just check with the library and, and, and see what you can come up with. And, and of course, uh, you can talk with uh, some people who are upper class persons, get some idea from them about uh, the kinds of exams they've taken. Uh, and obviously, you know, there are, you can go online and, 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 and such, and, and, and there are many uh, places where you can do that, and we hope that you will you know, come back and, and see what we have to offer. Uh, the next thing is to follow the outline. You're starting to study now. You're, you're going through the process, and you've created this outline. This is something that you're going to be creating during the, the course of the year. Follow it, because the outline is, is basically going to be the method by which you review everything that you learn during, the, during that particular semester. So follow the outline. Go through the process of, of, of going through all the material through using the outline as a guide. And that, you'll find that to be very helpful. Select a secure location where you're going to be really studying. Find a place either at home, a place at, at school, um, or preferably both, both because sometimes because of inclement weather, lateness of night, transportation issues, whatever it may be, you're going to need a place where you can study, a place that's, that's quiet, a place that's secure, place that's comfortable uh, and a place that you can rely upon so that you, whenever you need to, to do your study, you know you can go there. At this time, you're supposed to start limiting your outside activities and, and, and everything else that you're doing outside of law school. You'll find that uh, this is a period of time during which uh, all your extracurricular activities will start will, will have to diminish because you just won't have the time. This is a very critical point in your life. It's something that uh, will be a very important in terms of, of how you perform. Uh, and in preparation for these very critical exams, you have to devote all of your available time to preparing for the exam, to studying for the exam. Dig in. Dig in. You're preparing for battle. Uh, what you need to do is understand that you have to focus and, and just dig into this. You have to you have to get into the the notion that 
This is war. This is studying. This is something you have to you have to just dig in, uh, concentrate on, put all your efforts into it. Make sure that you you, you know you, you you have your your food, clothing, and shelter properly uh, uh, addressed. Uh, but just 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 dig in. Just just make sure that you 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 become eng fully engrossed in the whole preparation. You will find that all of your colleagues are going to be doing the same thing. You will find that there are some people will be in study groups and you'll see the study groups going off to wherever they go and you'll find them in the carols in the library, you'll find them in, in, in different places, uh, different meeting rooms and different places on campus. Uh, people will be working together, people will be exchanging information. Uh, it's very important that you, uh, you, you go through this process of, of just, just, just digging in. Um, talk to other people. Talk to your classmates. Talk to upper class persons. Talk to anyone you 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 are able to 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 talk with, and get information from them. Whatever you need, there there you, there will be all kinds of points of law that you will try to understand. And, and sometimes you may need just a, a few moments of, of, of communication with someone. Who can help you get a, a better view as to as to what this point of law is all about? Uh, so it's very important that you do that. You, you that you speak with with other people, uh, talk with them about their experiences, and, and and get an idea from them. You know, learn from them uh, what you are unable to to glean from either the case books, the horn books, or your, or your commercial outlines. Um, but it's, it's very important to do that. Now you should tr rotate your your course review. You can't, you're going to have five courses. It's almost impossible to seriously review all five courses in one day. So when you start either six weeks or five weeks or four weeks, whatever it is before, before your, your law final exams, when you start that process, what you need to do is to rotate your classes. Maybe you can do two courses a, a day. Uh, one, one day you're doing torts and criminal law, the next day you're doing property and contracts or, or whatever it is. But you have to rotate it because uh, this rotation will uh, begin to accelerate. Uh, from the be at the very beginning, you'll have just, you know, you'll be able to devote a day or two to a particular course. But towards the end, you'll find that your, your, your exams are going to be spaced uh, sometimes two, sometimes three in a week. Um, and during that period of time, you're going to be, you know, accelerating your your your, your studying, uh, your review of each one of these courses, so that uh, you can get all this material done. So, wrote early on, learn how you can start rotating your courses in terms of review, and that will help you uh, going a long way towards uh, preparing for your final exams.